Welcome back to Sunless Sea. At the end of the last episode, I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do from here. And I feel like a lot of the things I'm waiting on are because I don't have a good enough ship. There's a lot of things I want to do, but I just need a bigger ship to actually be able to do it. So I really do want a new ship. So what I think I'm going to do is... Well, as, as far as what I'm going to do when it comes to getting a new ship, I'm going to go to the Isle of Cats and just get a bunch more red honey, because that seems to be by far the best way to make money. So I'm going to do that. But I don't want to do just that. I want to do some fun stuff along the way. So what I'm going to do is... I'm at London right now. I'm going to buy a bunch of prisoners' honey and three candles. And then I'm going to go down to the Cumian Canal, which I need to go to there anyway for the Admiralty. He wants me to get some strategic information or something like that, I think. Then I'm going to go down to the Iron Republic and get the uh, get the the fuel to transport to the the Empire of Hands to get that going. Then I'm going to head down to Port Carnelian and use up my three candles to try to find the Snuffer. It's probably going to fail, because if I remember right, the chance of that actually succeeding was pretty low, but I'm going to try it anyway. Then I'm going to head to the Utter Shroom with my uh, Prisoner's Honey and use that to get some more Blemigans and go to propagate them even further, since I've heard that if you get to, I think it's seven Blemigan propagation, something special happens. I think you can get something special as a reward from the Utter Shroom. And right now my propagation, my propagation quality is five, so I want to get that up higher. Then head over to the Isle of Cats and basically just, <laughs> rather boringly but effectively, farm a bunch of red honey. Then head over to the Empire of Hands, dump off the fuel, and then from there probably just straight back to London. Sounds like a pretty good plan, and I think I could do it all in one episode, so let's get going. I've got plenty of fuel. At least, until I get down to the Iron Republic, where I can buy fuel for even cheaper. So I think everything else I'm going to buy is probably just going to be the candles and the honey. So I need three Foxfire candles. And Prisoner's Honey, which is where? Here it is. How much room do I have? Six spots? Okay, let's get six. And we're off. I did take care of everything else, right? I turned in all my port reports and everything. I don't have any wounds. I read the morning paper at my lodgings, right? Spent time with my family. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're good. Let's go. Yeah, there, there really are a lot of quests that I just can't do with my current ship. I mean, there's the one from, I think it's the Tireless Mechanic, the, the whole impeller thing. Where is that? So there are objectives. Yeah, materials for the impeller. That's the one that needs the Element of Dawn, Casket of Sapphires, 40 units of Stygian Ivory. So that one I just don't have enough space for, and also the, uh, uh, the merchant guy who wants me to transport a bunch of supplies or something like that to the Avid Horizon. I can't do that until I have a bigger ship as well. So I really do want a new ship, and I feel like it's time. I mean, I've had this ship for... I mean, how long... Oh, hi. How long have I had it for? Like, 20, 30 hours? For the vast majority of the game, this has been my ship. I really am due a new one. Guess we're eating crab tonight. Uh. <laughs> I think it bugged out. The body's still there for some reason. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Let's have a chat. Get a port report. Thank you. Do I want to use it on my something waste me in port? What else would I use it for? The Cumian Canal? Oh, I might actually need it for the Cumian Canal to get the knowledge. I don't remember. I'm not going to risk it. Yeah, let's not risk it. The Bill Murray Straits.
There's a lot of these things around. I kind of feel bad for just murdering them all. They're gonna go extinct. Poor things. You know what? I'm not even gonna kill you. for this place. You know, this game really does have good music. It's just, it's... It's unfortunately very short. Each place has like a 30 or 1 minute theme song and then it's gone and then it doesn't come back until you like leave the area and then come back to it. It's kind of sad. I wish there was more music. Alright, let's get a port report. And fulfill my commission. Alright, strategic information. Listen for surface gossip. Vision of the surface, nice. You know, I probably should actually travel to the surface at some point. It'd be pretty cool. It's an awful lot of fuel, though. And again, it doesn't make any sense for my character, because my character is Joshua York, who is a vampire after all. So traveling to the surface makes literally no sense. But I am curious what it does. I wonder what you get. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll do this right now. Hmm. With the firkins of honey, do I have enough room for even the fuel? Not really. I mean, I need 22 fuel just to do it. And of course I want extra to actually be able to use my ship. Uh... Nah, it doesn't make any sense to do it with all the, the firkins of prisoner's honey that I have on board. I really do want to do it, though, because I could just pop straight down to the Iron Public, buy a bunch of fuel, come back up. But I, I really don't have the room. Tis a shame. That whirling vortex there represents Adam Sandler's career. Are you ready? Are you ready? Boink. I don't think you're ready. Get some hydrogen. Thank you. I will take aboard that incredibly explosive thing. I'm not going to get a port report. Remember weird stuff happening? No thanks. Ah, yes. This is a thing that I could actually do. I do... It'd be very difficult, but my current ship does barely have enough hold space to have the 12 Devil One dice and the 7 Stygian Ivory. I could do it. But is this just a forward-mounted weapon with unusual characteristics? Thing is, I already have a forward-mounted weapon. And it's already really, really good. So... It doesn't really make that much sense to get it. Anyway, I've got the stuff I need. Don't want to do that, don't want to do that. I don't want to allow them time ashore, because if they go ashore, they're never going to come back. Or they're going to come back as horrible zombies that are going to murder my, the entire rest of my crew in their sleep. Don't want that to happen. Although we can... Let's unlock the Market of Hungers.
I guess I just get as much fuel as possible at this point. Yeah. What about supplies, though? Well, I can't buy supplies here, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Alright, next stop. Port Carnelian. I kind of want to go to the Grand Geo just to see what's up there, but I know they've got a lot of really strong ships around there. I don't want to mess with them. Those ships terrify me. Those huge, shining beacons of awesomeness. Oh yeah, that's right. I just remembered. Port Carnelian has cheap supplies. Cool. Oh god, is that one of the ships? No, it's a big one, but it's not one of the shining ones. Still, though, I do not want to fight it. the dark for a bit. Yeah, let's go to this spot here. I'm curious. Whoa! Oh, fuck! <laughs> that scared me. I did not see that. Slow down! Oh. Thankfully, their charge is not infinite. Only lasts for a couple seconds. Let's uh, use its meat, I suppose. Supply, hunting trophy. And... Lost my hunger? <laughs> did I lose my hunger because we ate? Or did we lose our hunger because it was so fucking disgusting nobody wants to eat for the entire rest of the day? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no undiscovered islands, but there could be some, like, named landmarks around here that might be worth some fragments. Ooh. Oh, I could totally take him. Come here, rat barge. Whoa. Let's spin them a story, calm down. Lost five tear. We're good. Yeah, let's wait for them to turn around. They shouldn't be able to see me because I've got my lights off. Oh, wait. Do I want to chase them? Eh, I don't think it's worth it. They're so close to the Utter's Room. I'm going to be heading this way anyway when I go to the Utter's Room next, so... Nah. Let's hope this time they're in a cloud of bats or whatever the hell that was before. Two vortices? Oh fuck. I don't I don't want to go in between them. Oh and I love the music for poor Oh fuck! It's the blue bat things. Seriously, I love this music though, but holy shit, there's blue bats and two vortices. But listen to that music. I'm gonna thread the needle. Don't suck me in! Alright, we're good. Ooh, I can put my agent into Port Carnelian. Ah. Ah. I think I should do that. Okay, can I get a port report? Actually, yeah, can, can I get a port report? I don't see a port report here. Eh, whatever. Let's try the snuffer. Oh, that's right, you can try to mobilize your network. I totally forgot that that was the other option. It was either mobilize your network or use the candles. So let me let me try to uh, put my network here in the first place, and, and then maybe that'll give me a decent chance. 
It's going to cost 100 Echo. No big deal. 45% chance. Hmm. Let's see, did I... Oh, I failed. A small fish in a big pond. Where are your reports? Where's your intelligence? Where, come to that, is your agent? Did they succumb to the intrigues of more callous, more experienced operatives? Aw, I lost him. Well, candles it is. So, yeah, there's a 15% chance of this succeeding. Well, you know what? I succeeded at the 1% chance of finding Maybe's daughter's mother, so... I think I got this. I don't have this. Fuck. Oh, it actually only used up one candle. Empty-handed. You arrange a tempting, poorly guarded bulk sale of candles. What snuffer could resist? This one, apparently. He doesn't bite. By evening, you're down on the deal and you've wasted a day disguised as a flamboyant but gullible merchant from Con Shadow. You fling aside the least flattering of your scarves in disgust. Balls. I probably can't do it again because I don't have enough candles, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's cruel. So you need three candles to do in the first place, but it, if you fail, it only takes up one. But nonetheless, I can't do it again. <sighs> you can't buy candles here, can you? Nope. Alright, so I failed at finding... I uh, failed at putting my agent into the network. I failed at finding the snuffer. In other words, I'm just an all-around failure. What a great day. Let's call it a room above a bookshop. I don't know what that does. Oh, port report. Okay, cool. Let's buy stuff. I definitely need supplies. I really don't have much room. I'm just gonna get more supplies. Yeah, because that is by far the most expensive thing to buy. And I should be able to find fuel where I'm going? Maybe? I'm starting to question myself now. I don't think... Does the Utter Shroom have fuel? I can't remember. Eh. It'll be fine. Okay, let's see if we can find that Rat Barge on the way to the Utter Shroom to pick up our Blemigans. Oh, crap, I just clicked out of the game. Come back, game! Oh, there we go. How much health do those things have again, isn't it? Like 500... Yep, 500. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight them. Thankfully, they're more eastern than they were last time I was here. Before, they were, like, basically in the port. Feels good to be playing this game again. It's been like a week since I've played. I really do love this game. It's pretty incredible. Such a richly, amazingly detailed world that they've made. Uh, what? Was oh, it the rat barge? Okay, let's fight. Don't shoot! Fuck you. It's the only shot you're going to get. What, are we going to rub up against each other? Is this foreplay? What are we doing? Oh, whoa, they got another shot off. Ow. Give me your... fuel. Yeah. You're too fuel. What an amazing bounty. Alright, you know what? I want to know something. If you hit a bunch of mushrooms, do you actually take damage or do you just, like, boink off? Because I feel like mushrooms are soft, you know? They're fungusy. I've got to know. Let's find out right now for science. Ow.
Oh, that's right. Every frickin' I give up, I actually gain two things, because I get the Blimigan and the supplies. Do I have enough room? How many do I have? Four or five? I've got, oh, six. I don't have enough room. Shit. Uh, what do I dump? What do I dump? I need to take a dump. Hmm, let's get a port report. Well, just do this four times. Okay, now I need more space. I guess I just dumped the fuel? Uh, I could dump the strange catch. I kind of want to keep it, though. And the Foxfire candles are a little bit pricey, so I definitely don't want to dump those. Hmm. Let's dump the fuel. Alright, let's visit the village, unless I want to save my something waste being port for the Isle of Cats. Um, it's probably going to come back by the time I get there. It'll be fine. Oh, whoops. Let's visit. Got a memory of a distant shore. Cool. Oh yeah, so the Outer Shroom does not have a shop. You can't buy anything here. Okay, running kind of low on fuel. Relatively, but I've got plenty of supplies. Won't need to buy them for a long time. Now I want to propagate these Blemigans as far as possible. Any damn place, no matter how inhospitable or crappy it seems, I'm just going to dump them off. So, for example, let's go to Visage. I don't remember if I already went there to dump the Blemigans off. I really don't remember. I know I already dumped one off of the Isle of Cats. I don't remember about Visage. I know that it seems like you can dump them literally off at every single place you can take a port at, so I shouldn't have any trouble getting all of them off before I get back to, to London. I shouldn't have any trouble getting all of them off. I can't wait to get off all these Blemigans before I go back to London. discovered Peter's Rocks. Mm, I'm pretty sure that one's Steve's. Oh no, I never put one uh, ashore here. Let's get a port report first. And let's dump one. The Blemigan is oddly shy. It slides onto the quay with obvious reluctance. It puts on a burst of speed to hide under a damaged, discarded mask, resting in a refuse heap with a fish head uh, with fish heads and broken tackle. The bulging eyed shell gives it gives it confidence, if not grace. It departs at speed. Bouncing into a buoy, waiting for repairs. Recoiling off an unused engine. Huh. Maybe it can sense the weirdness in this place. It is a very, very strange place. <laughs> Should I go ashore? It's always a very strange experience to go ashore here. Last time I did it, though, it didn't really do anything. Hmm. Is there anything I want to do at Adam's Way? I remember there was something I wanted to do, but I messed it up. Last time I was there. I don't remember what it was, though. What do I... Um, hold on, let me check out what I need for the Brisk Campaigner. I think I need to go here and talk to her. Yeah, this is what we needed. So we need Drowning Pearls, Zoop, and Muter Salt. Okay, so I don't need to go to Adam's Way for that. Hmm. Yeah, so let's just, uh... Let's just go up to the Isle of Gats and get some red honey. I 
wonder if you visit a place where you put Blemigans ashore, and it's been a while. I wonder if stuff happens. Like, can you check up on the Blemigans and see what they've been up to? I'm gonna go fucking broke getting red honey. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna get like 10 red honey at some point and spend all my, all my money on it. Something horrible is gonna happen. I'm gonna lose it all and I'm gonna be completely broke. Thank God I've got so many supplies because I'm gonna be hanging around here a long time waiting for my something awaits me in port to come back. Okay, here we go. I'm going to buy a metric crap ton of red honey. So I'm just going to kind of farm this as cheap as it feels. I really do need money. And I don't feel too bad about it because it has been a really long time since I've gotten a new ship. So I'm just going to farm this and when I'm done, I will be right back. Okay, that took a really long time, but I think I'm going to be incredibly rich at the end of this. All right, let's see. Okay, that's um, that is eight firkins of red honey. Which means my profit, well, if my profit margin was 500 for each, then I would get 4,000 profit. But it's 400, not 500, so 4,000 minus 800, which is 3,200, so my profit should be about 3,200. Technically, it's 3,200 minus 8, because the actual profit is 399 echoes. So it's actually 1100 Oh, forget it. It's a lot of money. <laughs> Even if I have to pay the $500 dollar, 500 echo fee for the asshole searching my ship, it's still going to be a lot of money. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty much guaranteed to be able to buy the boat. Yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. I'm going to get a new boat. I'm going to get a new boat. I'm going to get a new boat. Assuming something doesn't go horribly wrong and I lose everything. What if, what if the, what if the Blemigans get into the honey and they go fucking wild and they eat it all? Alright, y'all going overboard. I'm just kidding. Eh, uh, done? Go away? They're too cute, I can't throw them overboard. Although, if they do eat my red honey, I'm going to kill them all. Oh. Okay. Uh, so, propagate Blemigans and head over to the Empire of Hands to dump off the fuel. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? What am I doing? I need supplies and shit. I totally forgot to buy supplies. Back it up. Beep. 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 Yeah, pretty pricey, but oh well. Like 15? Let's go with a couple. Eh, whatever. Just just max it out. Let's go. I always get super paranoid about fuel and supplies when I'm over here on the kind of the east side of the Unterzee. Because it's pretty barren out here. So, I don't want to have to worry about it. I can't remember if I dumped off Lemigans at the Fathom King's Hold, so I'm going to head there anyway. Worst case scenario, I simply get a port report. We're gonna head on over to the Empire of Hands, probably maybe the Chelinate as well. Man, I'm not gonna be able to get a boat in this episode. There's not gonna be enough time. It's alright, I guess the next episode will have to be the the christening of my new boat. Ooh, if I'm getting a new boat, I'm gonna have to give it a new name, right? Yeah. That's gonna be cool. That's not to imply I've been exactly uh particularly careful with the the name of my current ship. After all, it was just randomly generated. In fact, I don't even remember the name of my ship. I think it starts with a C. Charlotte? Is it Charlotte? Yeah, Charlotte. <laughs> Good old Charlotte. I totally remembered your name. Whoa. Oh, there. That's right. Freaked me out. Uh, alright, someone's gone crazy. Hmm... I 
I can't risk things getting too crazy right now. Just, uh, just shoot her. Fuck. Now I've got Storm's attention, lost two crew. But at least fear did not go up. Let's get a port report. Yeah, it looks like I've already dumped off a blimmig in here. Oh, let's be on our way. I didn't realize how much my terror went up waiting for the, the red honey. Jeez. Alright, let's go to the Chelinate and then the Empire of Hands. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take a stop at the King Eater's Castle. I want to know what a Blemigan is going to do at the King Eater's Castle. Oh, fuck. No. No. That's the demon... demon seed. The... what is it called? The Fluke Core? Yeah, I'm not touching that. That fucking thing. It's not even that big, but... It'd make mincemeat of my whole... Let's leave my lights off. Why am I still stuck in combat? I don't get it. There's no way it's chasing me. I totally forgot to turn my lights on. Crap. That didn't exactly help my terror out. Why am I still in combat? I think it might be bugged. That or the Fluke Core really holds a grudge. So you dare click on me? wonder what a Blemigan's gonna do here. Let's get a port report. The Blemigan is quivering. Yeah, I bet. I would not want to be left here either. I feel kind of bad. I'm sorry. The Blemigan creeps down the ramp, onto the stones of the castle, past the litter of bones. It slows. It collapses, with a sigh like a deflating toy balloon. Even as you watch, its skin begins to shrivel and dry. No Blemigan will ever prosper here. What the hell? Oh my god, now I feel really bad. It just collapsed like a balloon and just deflated and dried. What the... No Blemigan will ever prosper here. I mean, I didn't expect it to prosper, but why did it die so quickly? Jesus. This place is... This this place is wrong. I'm getting the hell out of here. Let's go to the Chillinate. I want to go a little bit to the east and then straight north to see if I can kind of reveal some of this blackness here. Or, no, not here. <laughs> here. In fact, let's come into the Chelinate from the right side instead of the left. Let's go to the side of the map. I want to see the map stop scrolling before I go north. There we go. There's probably nothing here but water. It's very barren. 
Seems like the more southeasterly you are, the more barren it is. I'm feeling some boinkage here. What if I do head-on boinkage? Boink. Okay, that wasn't really a boink, that was more like a jitter. Yeah, there's nothing there. Sure. A casually flung fishing spear pierces the blemigan. It deflates to a soggy mess. The chilene grins savagely at you. Some response is clearly required. Uh, good shot, madam. A uh, good shot. You fucking dick. What's wrong with you? These things are adorable. Can I put another one ashore? No, it got pierced again. You fuck. <sighs> I'm not doing it again. Poor things. Fucking assholes. Alright, Empire of Hands. Does something bad happen if I get a port report? I always forget what to do here. This place is so complicated. No, it's fine. Just, yeah, okay. Normal port report and everything's good. Let's put a Blemigan ashore. An eager departure. The Blemigan disappears into the dense jungle. It should thrive in the Empire's cold humidity. Oh, well, good. Oh, I don't feel too bad. <laughs> I just got three Blemigans killed, but at least one survived. Poor things. Ooh, and our propagation is up to seven, which means I think I should be able to get something special from the Utter Shroom. I have no idea what, but yeah, something should be waiting for me, I guess. I'm, I'm, I'm glad other people told me that something will be waiting for you at the Utter Shroom once you get to, uh, once you get to seven, because otherwise I never would have thought to go back. Because, I mean, nothing's happened to tell me that I should go back there. Um, do I have anything to, like, improve my standing in general? I mean, I know I have the fuel to give. Well, let's just give the fuel. Ooh. Alright, gained me one status, which isn't very much, but now the fuel quality is up to 40. And, the most important thing, I have five Drowning Pearls, which gives me eight. Um, I needed the Drowning Pearls for... For... For you, right? Yeah, I needed seven Drowning Pearls, now I've got them. Okay, yeah, getting these other two things is actually really not that big of a deal. One Zoop, two Muter Salt. Um, I have enough... I think it's Z-Stories is what it takes to get two Muter Salts from Wither. And then, uh, Zoop can be pretty easily gotten nearby from Mount Palmerston. Yeah, I can totally do that soon. 
Ooh, oh man, I'm already forming a really, really... I I'm forming plans for stuff that's going to happen pretty far in the future, but I'm thinking once I get back to London, I should have enough to buy a ship, and once I have a bigger ship, I can probably do the quest at the Avid Horizon. And if I'm doing the quest at the Avid Horizon, my I might as well head to Wither, and then Mount Palmerston, to do the, the, uh, the Burst Campaigner's quest, and then to the Avid Horizon. <gasps> plans are forming. But, anyway, I'll save that for the next episode. Or, perhaps, even the episode after that. Depends what happens. Okay, no, 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 no. 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 Let's go here. Um. Right, I still need the Searing Enigma if I want the treasure map. I do still want to do that. But Searing Enigma seem to be pretty hard to get. So that's gonna have to wait. Let's go to the court. <laughs> now I know not to trade, uh, what was it? Yeah, crates of human souls, or they fucking hate you. So never trade that. That's what completely tanked my standing with the court. What is this again? Oh yeah, other things. Yeah, I need more status for that. But I can do this. Ooh, gain five Z-stories. Damn. Thank you. I can do this again? Ah, uh, no, it doesn't do anything. Right, I can sell my soul. For various different prices. No thanks. I'm good for now. Okay. Hmm, where to now? I have one Blemigan left, right? Yeah. I want to, I want to train one and just turn it into a, a men. I was gonna say mentor, not a mentor, a uh, mascot. It's already docile. Shouldn't be too hard. You know, just gotta train it to use a litter box. Maybe put a little top hat on it. Draw like some like use a marker to draw in some eyes on it or something. Yeah. All right, I want to dump off the last Blemigan before I end the episode. Where shall I do that? Hmm. Mangrove College. I think I already dumped one off there. Yeah, I definitely did. That's right, because dumping one off meant that I can't get supplies there anymore because the Blemigan's gonna like eat them up or something. Um. God, what's going to happen if I dump a Blemigan off at the Wreck of the Nocturne? Let's find out. Am I going to have enough supplies to head there? The Wreck of the Nocturne and then Con Shadow? Yeah, I can totally do that. That's no big deal. If anything, I'm more worried about the fuel, actually, than the supplies. But nah, I should be fine in the fuel. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. This improves the efficiency of the engines, by the way. It's called green traveling. Gotta think of the environment. Oh, you can't even put it ashore. I mean, I guess there is no shore. Well, I'm pretty sure there's still no point in doing this, but let's do it anyway! Oh look, it did nothing, again! Let's do it again! Great, now I have more storage space. Goodbye, candles. That was wasteful, but I don't care. Because I'm gonna be rich when I get back to London. I'm excited. I'm excited. <sighs> New ship. I wonder if the new ship is going to be heavier. I wonder if it's going to be super slow if I don't buy a new engine. And I don't think I'll have enough money left over to buy a new engine.
Oh yeah, delivery of trinkets. Let's do that. Doesn't even take up hold space, so that's fine. Alright, let's put the last Blemigan ashore. Hopefully this one doesn't get attacked by the spiders, but... I have a feeling it's gonna be horribly... I mean, well, I know it's gonna be horribly outnumbered by the spiders, so I have a feeling it's... not... gonna survive. <laughs> yeah, oh god. An unseemly brawl. The Blemigan whirls across the quay and under a silk merchant's stall, occasioning some alarm. Gone from your life. Your duty is done. Not quite. With a furious insectile screech, sorrow spiders converge on the stall. The Blemigan is driven into the open. It smashes one spider carapace with its beak, vaults another spider in a flash of fungal dexterity, <laughs> fences tendril to chalicerae with a third as with a third as they both dash up a wall. Then it's gone into the webs, its hyphal slimes protecting him from their sticky adhesions. Spiders pour after it. Who will know its end? Not you. You have nothing to do with this. If anyone asks, you were probably never even here. <laughs> God, I feel bad for the thing, but also, that was fucking awesome! Not only awesome just because of, I mean, this f fucking... Where's the line? Not only awesome just because it's an amazing display of fungal dexterity, but also the writing is so good! I'm gonna read that again. I'm just, I'm just gonna read it again because the writing is so good. With a furious insectile screech, sorrow spiders converge on the stall. The Blemigan is driven into the open. It smashes one spider carapace with its beak, vaults another spider in a flash of fungal dexterity, fences tendril to chalicerae with a third as they both dash up a wall. Then it's gone into the webs, its hyphal slimes protecting him from their sticky adhesions. Spiders pour after it. Who will know its end? Not you. You had nothing to do with this. If anyone asks, you were probably never even here. It's so good. Seriously, that is... F God. The writers for this game are amazing. Hyphal slimes, fungal dexterity, tendril to chalicerae. I don't even know what a chalicerae is. I love this game. Uh, okay, I guess I better... Sadly, I better end this episode here before it becomes too long. Well, I did most of what I wanted. I... went all the way from London. Down here. Over here. Up to the Utter Shroom, Isle of Cats. Chelinate. Oh, actually, no. Down to the King Eater's Castle, then Chelinate, Empire of Hands. Been all the way up here, so... Kind of did like a big, like, bracket shape, sort of. On the entire bottom part of the Untersea. So, pretty good amount of travel. And during that, I got a bunch of Blemigans, put a bunch of them ashore. Got my propagation quality to 7, which means something cool should await me when I go back to the Utter's Room. And delivered some more fuel to the Empire of Hands. And now I have such an um, incredibly amazing amount of red honey for when I get back to London that I think I can afford a new ship when I get back there. And I can't freaking wait. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head back to London and hopefully buy a new ship.